Hi, I'm Tony Waitman, the author of Assessment Centre Success. I'm sure you'll agree, whatever you do in terms of interviews, management or whatever, the thing that makes the biggest difference is preparation. If you prepare, you usually get the success that you require. It's exactly the same for an assessment centre. A lot of people say, well, how can you prepare? You don't know what's going to happen, but you can prepare and you can be smart about that preparation. The first bit of preparation you must do is to research the organisation that you're going to join. It's not unusual to get something involved either in a report or a presentation where you'll be asked to comment either on how the organisation is doing or what's happening in that marketplace. If you've done that research, you come head and shoulders above others who will flounder on such an exercise. You'll look as though you're in control of what's going on. Very important to do that. There are other things you can do as well. If you get hold of the job description, which you should get in any case, and the advert, look for some of the key things that are in there. They will tell you the activities that that person has to perform as part of the job. If it's a performing of a leadership job, it'll normally say that responsible for say 10 people. Well, immediately you know that you're gonna to have to, from time to time, communicate with those people, lead them to make decisions, and on a regular basis, maybe have to write reports on how, how progress is being made. Once you start identifying what those key issues are within the job from the advert, the advert will give you a lot because that will have the key things that are expected from that job. You can then say, well, how are they going to measure that? Well, if it's something where you have to communicate with people, you may actually have to deal with somebody one to one or you may have to brief a group about what's going on. Immediately, you know, you're going to have to do a presentation. It also may well be that you are, let's say it's a marketing job and you're having to communicate with uh, other people outside. That to me would indicate you're gonna to have to do reports from time to time. So you know those things are gonna happen. If it's a role where there are issues in terms of priorities, if you're having to balance one against the other, you're gonna go into an entry exercise. So there are various things are obvious that you're gonna have. If you spend some time looking at those and maybe practicing them with people at home, you've got a good chance then of going in quite strongly and confidently knowing what you're going to face. The final area that's really important though is look at the location. Make sure you know where it is and you know how to get there, particularly if it's a nine o'clock start. It might be easy to get there on a Sunday, but on Monday morning it may be very difficult. Make sure that you give yourself plenty of time to get there. There's nothing worse than turning up late. If you turn up late, you may miss some of the exercises. You've missed that opportunity to impress. Get there early, you relax.